Hi guys, so today I'm going to be giving you a tour of the baby's nursery. Technically, I don't have like a full-blown nursery, they just have like a little corner of my room, but I think you guys should get the grand tour just to familiarize yourself um, while you're here on my YouTube channel, you know? So right off the bat, they have their hanging bassinet in the corner of my room. Um, that's usually where they hang out and where they are now. Look at how cute they are. All of their stuff is in this closet of mine. So let's go ahead and start on this side. So I have this hanging um, basket thing that I got at Target. And it holds all of the magnetic pacifiers at the top. And all of the regular pacifiers, the ones that still have like a nipple and like are still intact. On the bottom I also have some of these teething toys these were actually from me when I had my wisdom teeth surgery so that's kind of funny but yeah um, I also have a just regular measuring tape I use this when I'm trying to like order clothes online to make sure I get the correct size that'll fit the babies I also have this bin right here so this bin has a lot of different stuff it has Bodie's belly plate the makeup palettes that I use for Luca, a little mirror, this is the sock that I use to warm up vinyl heads when I'm rooting, this is my rooting hair, we have all of the mohairs in here, um, felting needles, there's more mohair, here's their brush. Here's a waiting thing. I think I took this out of Stellan, so I'll use it with a future baby. We've got combs, fine tooth combs. Um, these are makeup brushes that I use for the makeup palettes for Luca. We've got a whole bunch of different brushes. And then on the very bottom, you can kind of see it, but this is... Um, Bodie's COA from Bountiful Baby. I keep it in there just to, you know, keep track of it. This is what I use to root the babies. It is a X-Acto knife, like handle, and then I just put one of the felting needles where the blade is supposed to go. It helps a lot. Um, and then I have a toothbrush. For also when I am rooting, it kind of like, I can brush the hair away to see it a little bit better. Um, but yeah, this is basically like reborning stuff and cosmetic stuff. Um, the two things that I use the most out of here are the belly plate and the hairbrushes. So up on top of the dresser, we have this cute little Ikea thing. Um, I have the baby powder that I use. This is the lotion that I use to make the bottles. As you can tell, it's like an off-white creamy color. And when it's mixed with water, it looks exactly like fake formula or like fake colostrum. So I really like this one. Also, it smells really good. Um, Bath and Body Works. This is the spray bottle that I use. In here is just water and a teeny tiny bit of uh, hair conditioner. And then I have one diaper of each size. So Bodhi wears size one and Luca wears a preemie size diaper. Those are just as like a backup. Um, I can also use them for TikToks and stuff like saying I'm putting on a new diaper, but I just reuse them. So. But there they are, and then these are the, I have two pieces of saran wrap here. I use these um, sometimes inside hats, inside like when I use the baby carrier or the car seat. These protect their rooted hair from getting messed up, and if the hair gets messed up, then you basically have to brush it. So it keeps the hair from getting messed up and um, especially for Luca, his hair can fall out really, really easily since he's a silicone. So those help a whole bunch. On Bodhi, I don't really have to worry as much because his is sealed in his head. But yeah, 
Then we have the bottles. So I have this bottle and then this bottle. This is the bottle that I use like on the daily. Um, inside, like I said, is just that lotion and water mixed together. Um, but this is the one that I use and then in my TikToks when like it looks like the formula has gone down like they drank it. I just dump it in this one to hold it. Um, so that's why I have two bottles on here. But yeah, those are the bottles that I use. I got both of those from Walmart. And then we have their stuffy collection. This brown bear was actually from my childhood. Um, same with this dog. But they're in like really good condition, so I use them for the babies. And then this sunny lovey I got with the sunshine um, sleep set that I think I got a TJ Maxx or Burlington. I cannot remember, but that came with it. So I don't really use these guys too much. Sometimes I use them in like pictures and stuff, but most of the time they just stay on top of the dresser here. Okay, moving over. We have this laundry basket. I did have a whole bunch of clothes that I was donating, but I just threw those in a bag and whenever I get close to my church, I can drop them off. So what I do with this is when I'm done changing the babies, I just throw all of the clothes in here and then I like to fold them on here. That way I can put them away. Um, Cause I don't like to fold them right after I take them off. This like really soft gray fuzzy one and it has ears. So it looks like a little bear. It doesn't have a tail. I was gonna add a tail, but it doesn't have a tail. And then we have this one which is actually a little frog that I made. Oh, this one I didn't make. So there's two on here. This one I got a uh, clearance, or not clearance, at a thrift store. And it's like Sherpa on the inside. I think it's size newborn. Nope, it's size three months. So this is like something that I can use in the winter for them. And then this one I made, I think it's just a plain red one. This one I made, it's a little panda bear, so he's got little black ears. And then there's this one, which is just a little brown bear, but I put like little um, claws on the bottom of it. And he's got little white inserts. This is a snowsuit that I bought a while ago. Um, this is zero to three months. And then this, this one's like one of my favorites. It's so cute. It has like this minky fabric on the belly and it's a dinosaur. So it's got like little spikes and triangles going all the way down. It doesn't have a tail though, but yeah. So those are all of the like costumes and suits that I have. And then we have this blue organizer and I used to like plan out the baby's outfits when I had um, Stella and stuff. And I would like put them all in here. That way I could just like grab them and go. I haven't done that in a while, um, but I might do it again. In the bottom though, I have all of like the blankets and stuff. This is the baby carrier swaddle thing that I have. Fuzzy blanket, hand crocheted blanket, swaddle, hospital blanket, and then car seat cover. And then speaking about the car seat, the car seat is under here. Those are all of my school textbooks under there. But I have the car seat under here, and then that's like my clothes section. But um, yeah, that's all of the baby stuff on the outside. And then I can show you guys individually all of the different stuff in the dresser. Top level, or top drawer, we have shoes. We have all of the different shoes. These are all of the socks. I have stockings, like tights um, and stuff in here for whenever I get a girl. These are all of the hats. We've got really cute winter hats. This one I made um, by hand. Isn't it adorable? I call it like the ugly sweater beanie. It is so cute in my opinion. I wish I made one in my size, but it's okay. So all of the hats are here. And then we have, again, just some extra diapers for in case there's like get ruined or something. Another extra bottle. And in here we have extra bottle caps and stuff and as well as baby spoons. I don't know where they came from, but I have bibs 
in here as well. I think we only have like two or three. I never really use them though, but this is the baby like shirt. I'm not gonna unfold it because it has the name of the hospital on it, but this was mine when I was a baby. This is the shirt that they gave you in the hospital. Um, so I'm using it for my little babies. Look at how old this tag is. Hat was also mine. That's why it's like a little frayed when I came home from the hospital. So those two things I like keep in here for whenever I get a new baby because I like to do their announcing their name and stuff in that. It's like become a tradition. Um, I didn't do it with Luca though, but I have done it with Bodie and Stone. So, but that's everything. Oh yeah, and then this is the fake formula that I used. It's really just flour. I don't use it that anymore because it kind of gets kind of gross. So I definitely like the lotion better because I don't have to change it for a really long time. Okay, next is boys clothes, which boy, they have a lot. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got sleepers all the way up to here. And then these are all sleep sets. So we've got four different sleep sets. These are um, preemie short sleeve onesies, newborn short sleeve onesies, and then newborn long sleeve onesies. And then all of these are long pants. We've got shorts, um, t-shirts, t-shirt and short sets. And then we've got like rompers and stuff like that. And then these are like their swimmers. We've got two swim trunks and one full body. And then these are tank top. We've got like the girl hats. This was also mine. Someone from the hospital when I was a baby. Um, I had to have two hats because I was so tiny and like I couldn't regulate my body temperature. They had to give me two. But somebody made this and it is so cute and I still have it. And I use it for my babies. So we've got different hats, um, jackets, uh, dresses, outfits, sleepers, long sleeve shirts, all that kind of stuff, but don't really get to use these that much because I don't have a girl. And then down here, we have even more diapers, just as a backup. And then all of their jackets and um, overalls and sweatshirts. Um, hoodies, jean jackets, that kind of stuff. So, I might have to expand and put some of the boy clothes down here just because we're running out of room. That's basically everything for the babies. They don't really have a whole bunch of stuff. I don't have like um, a lot of like baby equipment you could say like swings and stuff i only really have a car seat this bassinet i get a lot of questions about on tiktok i made this by hand and on my tiktok i have a playlist going step by step with everything that you need and like all of the different knots that you need to make and directions um so you can make this on your own thank you guys for watching again i don't know how long this video is going to be i guess that's it bye guys hope you have a good day or night or evening Whenever you're watching this. <laughs>